Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. This video is going to be on how to control your Telodrone using Scratch 3.29.1. And it's right here in the middle, as you can see. And uh, this is going to be a quick one, really easy. Uh, not a lot of steps. Uh, what you want to do is, let's get that out of the way. When you press the green button here, your drone will simply take off and that's it and that's how you use scratch 3.0 to control your drone <laughs> i'm just kidding all right so this is a drone right here and we're going to be able to control that using the code uh, this is just a sample code so for ex example if you put this in you can't control anything right there's nothing except whatever you're using on your um keyboard right but you want to be able to control the drone so what you have to do is go into that link in the bottom of this description below, right? And so what you want to do is you want to download, if we scroll down to the bottom, see where it says Mac, Zip, or Windows. Actually, if you're using Windows, you can follow this tutorial because it doesn't require um, going into the terminal, which has, if you've seen the other video, you need the terminal. So moving forward, scratch that off our list and you won't need it. So what you're gonna do is click download, right? To download that file, depending on your internet speed, will you know, determine how fast or how slow uh, it takes to, to get this file. But it, it's relatively a, a quick download. And depending on where you have your download saved, like for me, my downloads are right there. You can click open in Finder if you have uh, a ton of files in there and can't find it. So anyway, moving forward, we probably have about three seconds, I'd say. Five, four, three, two, one, and it should extract right about, well, there's like a little bit left in there right now. Okay, so here you go, okay? So let's go back into Scratch and have a peek. So you see there's nothing here right you, you can't control anything now remember this is scratch three this version so what's going to happen is we could actually close this right and leave that okay and then you see this little scratch tello three okay well, now we can close this window since we're done you can take that and drag it to your desktop uh, we can re um I'm going to keep mine. I'm going to stop because I already have it there. And there's some presets in there that I'd like to keep. So after you've dragged and dropped it, right, it should look like that on your desktop. And now you have another version of Scratch, but this is the Scratch which actually is going to control your Tello drone, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to click on it. And it's going to load. Once it loads, and you shouldn't have any trouble loading this version of Scratch as long as you, uh, there are some issues with Adobe Air. So apparently with the latest version of Adobe Air, there's some issues um, running certain apps and it, there's, a, a, there's another video that actually shows you how to fix that. But if it's working fine, that's great. But the, the best part is, is that the, the older version of Adobe Air um, works perfect with this. All right, so here we go. So you see there's, there is not gonna be anything here. You, you don't see anything, right? So let's move this thing out of the way because we'll get back to you later because basically we're gonna need what's in here. So you see there's nothing. If we go to My Blocks, if you've seen the other previous tutorial, what's the other version of Scratch, nothing. Um, and if you click on Events, oh look, this is what we want, these here. But moving forward, what you wanna do is you see on the bottom left-hand corner, right? click that and now you see you have tello now you don't have that right on the original version i'm going to open up uh, so you can see a comparison of the other version of scratch compared to the version that we just downloaded um, which doesn't have that component which is fine because now we have it so look if i click there there's no tello um, why i don't know but anyway Moving forward, see, and there it is. So now what you're going to do is you're going to click Tello. And you see now all these 
blocks load. See that? So now, moving forward, the first thing you want to do though, when you when you have this, everything is open like this, you want to put a land button and a takeoff button, okay? And then what you're going to do is, why don't you actually click on the orange control, okay? Go down a little bit and if you go down, you should see it ah, right there at the top. So you're going to click here, right? Definitely not land because then it won't go anywhere. Take off. So now you have that. The next thing you want to do, right, is another one for land, I think. Um, where are we? Oh, press. So you choose whatever keys you want, okay? For land, you can actually put L, right? Or you can put Q. So let's say there. And then let's say, for example, the list goes on and on because you have to control the uh, control the drone with many different presets and different variables. So I'm going to close this window. Actually, I'm going to load from my computer the presets which are already done so that you could actually see um, what it's like to control the drone. So I'm going to pause this for a second, but for you, it'll just be less than that. All right, so it's right there. Drone, I'm going to open this one because the presets are already there. Click OK, leave the project. So you see everything is already here. So it takes quite a bit of time and and, and I, you, you don't need to sit through watching me do all that. All right, so everything's already there. So what I'm going to do is move this a little bit so I can actually see the controls and you can press this button right there see that and that's kind of stretches everything out a little bit and if you go down a little bit right and see at the bottom that resets it right so for me I have takeoff which is the same and all the other features up down space land is actually spacebar which is good to know um, and then I move bar move left move right etc i'll see all these you have to decide which keys you want to control the drone but these are the main functions right here okay so let's see what we have move up move down oh it can actually flip um and the list as you can see simply goes on and on and on, right? All right, so M is move forward. All right, so now we got that. So now what's going to happen is, I'm not sure if I want to do it here on the table. Well, I guess I, sh I can, because it'll just take off. So now, as you can see, I'm going to press the uh, green flag, see that right there? And let it take off. Okay, ah, you know what I forgot to do? Okay, turn, first you got to turn the drone on, okay, and of course hit record, so that it can record, put the battery in, and there we are, I think right about there is good, and then what you're going to do is, right now that that's already set go into your Wi-Fi turn your Wi-Fi on now that it's blinking okay and then look for hasn't loaded yet you should see it any minute any minute it takes a while to load, maybe 30 seconds. Ah, there we go. Tello. Okay, so now that you're connected to the Tello, everything should happen according to plan. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit so you can actually see. Planning seems to reset. All right, so I'm going to press the green flag. When pressed, nothing. 
All right, so what you probably has to happen is, are we connected? Nope. You probably have to quit it. It needs to be a hard reset. So what you do is, you, if this happens, you close it, right? And then you go back into where your files are. Is this thing still recording? Yeah, it is. Um, It might not open because, um, yeah. So as you can see by default, you see right there, there's no icon. So if that happens, here's what you're going to do. Just basically don't load this version of Scratch. You have to load the Scratch Tello, which is on the desktop, okay? Because that could be a little confusing. So you have to be inside the right Scratch as you're loading. Okay, see that? It has to say, see on the left, Scratch Tello, okay? So if I go to File, load from my computer just click ignore okay there's the where is it right there the one at the bottom you could always change that i'll show you how to change that in a second so that you don't have that issue okay okay so let's see all right so we're connected and we're going to see if it works there we go all right, so I'm gonna move the other way. Whoa! Yep. Oh. Yeah, well, we we weren't expecting that to happen. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me pause this video and see what happened.